Hello Facebook! Here we are again with another episode of our series Why People Don't Buy from you. My name is Jessica Campos and in case um, when this is uh, the first time when you're tuning up, maybe someone is sharing this video with you. So just in case we haven't met, uh, Jessica Campos here coaching on socialmedia.com uh, and marketingforgreatness.com. So I have been creating a series called Why People Don't Buy From You to help entrepreneurs that hopefully are like you. Entrepreneurs that are looking to get business online. Entrepreneurs that, just like my story, they got tired of looking for opportunities that only depend from the local economy. In my case, I pursued a traditional career. I became an attorney and after practicing for 10 years, recession hit drastically our business and I had to move out of Puerto Rico and found myself with no opportunities to practice my career. And thanks to the online marketing and thanks to the opportunities I was able to found, uh, definitely I was able to provide for my family. I have four kids. The oldest is 17 and the baby is three years old now. In fact, today she's here with me at home. And um, we run uh, an, a boutique agency here in Austin. And today I'm from home because my baby is sick. But I have been helping entrepreneurs that resonate with my story. People that they had no choice but to reinvent themselves. And when you are trying to find opportunities and solutions, I know how hard it is. And in particular, because I believe that there's just so much information now, you know, in this, in this year, in this time, that we don't really have a lot of chance to kind of uh, sit down and digest all of it. So everything goes so fast that I believe that there's, there's a challenge around that. And I want to help entrepreneurs like you to pick up and really get the revenues that you are deserving because online marketing works. Your product, I'm sure that it's gonna change thousands of people if it's not millions. And your services, I am sure that they are life-changing opportunities and transformational opportunities. If as a matter of fact, most of my clients, they serve as coaches. I call them heart-centered entrepreneurs. And when you are a heart-centered entrepreneur, you want to attract the right people. You are there to make a change. You are there to make an impact. And I know that all this business information might be a challenge for you because in your mind, you're just there to serve. But at the same time, you have bills to pay. And this is where I come from, right? I come from my background in business plus my practice as strategies as lawyer. I help you to put together your heart, your tools with your business model that can help you. So in a nutshell, that's what I do. So today, I want to talk to you about lesson number 13, why people don't buy from you. And this is in particular in the scenario where you completed your website, you are clear, you think that you are clear in the way that you are presenting your offer, but still people are not making the decision as quick as you would like to. And I would like you to think about this question. Perhaps what you're offering, it's not quite different from what other people are offering as well. Let me ask you more specific. Did you identify what makes you unique when you were creating your branding elements? Like for example, your logo. Did you design your logo in a unique way or you just copy and paste and maybe spend only $5 for your logo. Believe it or not, those are little things that might affect your credibility, might affect your ability to get higher end clients as well. Let me ask you another question. How are you creating the copy that you are using on your website, on Facebook? Did someone give you a brutally honest review about that copy. Sales copy is the, oh my goodness. For me, sales copy is in the top three 
most difficult practices as a marketer. And I know that because you're doing everything on your own, you might be tempted just to copy and paste and do it fast and do it in a rush. And it's okay. Congratulations if you launch your website. That's, that's basically your first milestone. And I get that. But if your website is not providing you the returns that you were expecting, let's review that question. What makes you unique? Another question that you need to address on your marketing copy is when people work for you, what results they create? Those before and after testimonials and stories are the key to establish a clear definition of what it's called your unique valuable proposition. So it's not that you're going to say it on a video, my unique valuable proposition to this world is blah, 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 blah. No, it's not that you say it, it's that you present it in a creative way using the narration from your clients, testimonials are crucial, and then using branding elements that can make people feel she's different or he's different. You get it? Makes sense what I'm saying today? This is episode 13 of why people don't buy from you. So if you ask me, what can you do after this lesson? I will say, review your marketing materials. Review what exactly are you missing there? And here's the thing, what you don't know that you don't know might be costing business for you, might be affecting your revenue. And one of the th things that I learned is uh, I needed to ask. I needed to learn that I didn't know everything. Google cannot be my business coach. <laughs> Just for you, you know, take this lesson. Google cannot be your business coach. There's a reason why there's people that are ahead of us, right? Including me. There's a lot of people that, that they know more about uh, online business, they know more about business generation, business models, profits, and all of that. I'm not here to tell you I know everything. I'm here to tell you that I needed to admit that I needed help to be where I am right now. So if, if I'm telling you I can help you with your marketing, perhaps just give it a try, right? Um, maybe we can have a conversation and, and really um, evaluate what are the marketing pieces, pieces that you might be missing in this equation because those things matter when people make, uh, at the time when, when people are making the decision. And that is something that I have learned in, in the hardest way. Okay, so that was episode number 13. Tomorrow, we come up with another episode that will be 14. And um, what I do, if you're watching this live, after this a video is completed, come back and review the lesson again. Share it with people. Hola, Zulma. Hello, Lerida. Hola, Lisa. Review the lesson and what I do is that I edit uh, the video adding all the links from the prior lessons. So welcome if this was your first time attending to our uh, show, Why People Don't Buy from You. Good morning, Lisa. Where are you, Lisa? Where are you connecting from? <laughs> if this is your first time, you know, welcome and I hope I can see you tomorrow. One thing, uh, I try to make uh, these live uh, events at the same time. So usually they are, I'm in central time, I'm in, I'm in Austin. Usually they are between 10 and, and 12. Um, but if I can not do it for some reason, then I do it in the afternoon. So as you know, they will always be here. There will always be, you know, the permanent links. So you can always come back. But it's always good to come live because I can answer any questions that you have. So maybe today I got you off, you know, track and you, don't, you didn't know what was this about. But tomorrow, if you want me to come live and ask, answer any questions that you have about your marketing, feel free to take advantage of this invitation, all right? So thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful day and see you tomorrow with another episode of Why People Don't Buy From You. Take it, own it, execute it, activate your greatness. That's my mission here. Bye for now.